friends and floss tube friends and uh, stitching friends. Uh, it's time for episode eight of Stitching with Reese. Uh, I'm Reese, uh, and thank you for uh, watching. Um, firstly, I want to apologize for taking so long between my last video and this one. And I kept promising, I was like, I was going to do it this weekend, I was going to do it this weekend. But then all this stuff kept happening. Um, anyway, I've got some time now, so uh, I'm back. Uh, so the first, I've got a few things today. Um, I'll probably just get right into it, I guess. Um, uh, oh, new background. So um, I think on my last video, I said that I was getting like a new built-in wardrobe type scenario. So that's happened. I, I built it mostly myself, uh, which was fun and included dropping one of the doors on my foot. And then my foot was like 10 different colors for a few weeks, uh, but it's fine. So um, that's my new and improved storage area. Um, so um, what else? Uh, uh, oh, I've, um, in relation to my work, I've moved to the same job, uh, but in an office that's much closer to my house. So, um, that's exciting. So that gives me a bit more spare time. My time on the train commute stitching is now no more. Uh, um, it takes me 10 minutes to get to work instead of an hour and a bit. Uh, but that time that I would normally have spent stitching on the train for about an hour or so. I'm kind of doing in the morning when I get up because I'm still getting up super early because I'm that's just what I'm used to. So yeah, um, it's quite cold, hence why I'm wearing a big hoodie because it's very cold. Well, I say very cold. It's Australia cold. Um, it's probably not USA and Europe cold, uh, but it's kind of the middle of winter here and it's kind of rainy and windy and just a bit bleh. Um, yeah, so anyway, no one cares about any of that. Let's move on. So I've got a list. I've got my list here of things. Here we go. So one, finishes. I have finished. Woohoo! I have finished um, Manor at Quaker Hill by Brenda Gervais. I think I've already put the pattern, the chart back in the little container, but I've shown the chart before. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, okay, the piece of linen that I did it on was quite big. It's actually a lot bigger than you think. Um, and it's going to be hard to get it all in. But I'll do my best. Here we go. Bernie's stuff. And then I'll just do it. Yeah, so that's sort of the whole thing. Um... Yeah, this was really lovely to stitch. Uh, it is 36 count uh, Legacy by Pictures Plus, and I used all the called for over dyed cottons. So that is Finito. Yay! Um, that uh, took a, quite a while. Like I've, I was working fairly solidly on that since my last video, plus a, a few other bits and pieces, but really I was trying to get that done. And I finished it uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, so that's done. Excitement. Uh, that's the only finish that I have, uh, but I do have whips. So this is the um, other things I've been working on after I finished that, Manor at Quaker Hill. Only really two whips to speak of that I've worked on Solidly, I've been trying to get both of these um, finished because they're both fairly close to being finished. Um, so the first one is Gertrude Groschel, 1895. It's a Dresden sampler. So that's what it looks like. Oh, bit clear there. There we go. Um, and I am almost done on this one. Um, might just need a piece of paper to hold it up, maybe, or maybe not. So I'm pretty much good. Uh, pretty much there. So I've done all the alphabet, the top. Um, I've done the over one. I've done her name. I've still got to do. I think uh, 
the, the place and the year. I've done that first one of those corner bits. So I've really only got to do this sort of last section here. This is um, a bit fiddly, but it's okay. Um, so that should be finished pretty soon. And that's uh, Gertrude. Now I'm stitching that on 40 count uh, weeks linen linen uh, with the XJU thread, uh, the matte finish thread. I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but um, it's this Mariska's red in the XJU designs, but the matte finish. And it's kind of like that old, the Danish flower thread that you used to get. Like it's really, it's really nice actually. So anyway, uh, and this is the second one of these that I've used. So I'm only going to use oh, no more than two um, hanks of it or skeins of it, whatever you want to call it. So yes, yeah, so I'm hoping that Gertrude will be done by the next video. So that's that whip. Um, and the other one that I've been working on lately is Kathy um, Barrick A H to E E. This was a market release, I think, the Quaker reproduction and this is the one i'm doing in that oka oh, i'm an expert in saying that now um the week style works oka and this is how much i've done okay so it's not really that big this is on 40 count but basically from that m to that third motif down there is is the height it doesn't go any that, that's the thing and the width is there as well so that's how big it will be so i've just um so filling in this bit but yeah it's pretty cute um the color is fantastic i love this color i think it looks really good um the thread oh there's so many knots in it though i don't know if it's just that particular color or what's going on but oh my goodness it's driving me a bit mad with all the knots um but anyway so uh that's a 40 count and it's one of the one of the kitten stitcher hand dyed linens i can't remember which one but it's a 40 count and it's, oh, that's the back. Whee! <laughs> and it's um, uh, Weeks thread. Uh, I bought three three skeins and I think that will be enough. Um, I'm over halfway now and I only just started the second, second skein, so that should be fine. So, again, hoping for a finish on that one before my next video, which won't be a million years after this one. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. I've already been in lots of trouble from um, uh, Miss Linen and others who will remain nameless commenting on my Instagram. I've been threatened with being barred from the stitching from our stitching group. I'm very, I was, you know, it was a lot of pressure. Anyway, okay, so those were my two whips. Um, oh yeah, the next thing now. This is a new segment. If you, I've got segments, um, which we've which I've called Reesey to the Rescue. Um, so what this is is uh, one of my friends from Stitching Group, um, Allison, had purchased all the stuff to make Jane Baxter, eighteen thirty eight, by Victorian Rose uh, Needle Arts. Now I know if a bunch of people have started this, um, and a lot of people I think are doing the country sampler conversion um so when Alison got it kitted up or kitted it up she got the called for needlepoint silks and they, they're all in bags but it's a bit hard but they're very they're they're a lot brighter than the country sampler conversion anyway so she started stitching it and she didn't like it um, she, and so we, um, I was at her place a little while ago for, to do some stitching and, um, she said, um, look, tell me what you think of this. And so she showed me what she'd done so far, which was this corner. So there's a lot of this purple, red, this sort of stuff. And she didn't like it. She thought it was too bright. I took one look at it. I'm like, oh my God, those colors are fantastic. Um, love it, love it. And so she just said, okay, here you go. You can finish it. I was like, sure. So, 
So I've now inherited this, um, which is very lovely. Um, so I plan to, once I've finished my other two whips, I plan to get going on this and um, uh, get cracking with the, uh, the mad colours. So... That's exciting. Um, I think this is, it's 40 count weeks linen linen again, I think. Um, and the NPI silks. I mean, there's some fabulous colours. I mean, look at this, like, sort of jade green. This this super bright red. I think that's the same red that's in that Rachel Howes sampler, that, um, that red. Um, yeah, look, violets. Um, what else? Yeah, more purples, lots of purplies. Um... Yeah, all sorts. So, it's a shame that it didn't work out for Alison, but um, I will give it a good home. Um, but it's actually, it's an interesting example of how the picture on the front, you've just got no idea what you're getting into when you get, you know, it's it's so different to those threads. Um, so, anyway, but there you go. So, it'll be interesting to see this one finished and then compare it to the country sampler versions which are a lot more uh, muted colors and more subtle which are also it's also lovely as well I'm not you know that it's um it's all so yeah so that's Reese to the rescue uh now I have haul I've got quite a bit of haul actually because um I've been back to uh cruel goblin stitching group uh twice actually since my since the last video so i've bought stuff there also my order from um kitten stitcher which i placed like march before covid uh arrived um about a month ago so that's exciting so there was some charts in there as well and a, and a bit of fabric which i think i've already put away um but uh and then i've got another little subsection of haul um which I will get to in a, when I get to it. Okay, so, um, all right, haul. Uh, this I got, this is a hello from Liz Matthews, uh, and it's called First Day of Christmas Sampler and Tree. So, um, and it's the partridge in the pear tree. Uh, you can either do it as the tree, or you can just do it like this and then frame it. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do, um, probably the tree for something different, I think. Um, assuming the finishing isn't too insane and I won't, and I'll be able to do it. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really cute pattern. Um, what's it charted for? DMC and NPIs, I think. Um, yeah, so that's nice. That's that. uh, of course, I couldn't go past some new Reflet de Soir charts. Uh, this one's quite fabulous. Uh, it's called Jardin d'Eden, so Garden of Eden. Um, and it's actually, if you can, if you look, so all the flowers and trees and background is over two, but then the little animals are all over one. So there's a little over one rabbit, a little deer, a little doggy, lots of, yeah, so that's really cute. I really like that. And it's not too big. It's 162 by 122. So that's doable even with a bit of over one, Jardin de Eden. Um, and they usually chart theirs for silk and DMC. Yeah, so you've got option. I'd probably, there's a lot of colors in it, so it might be a DMC one. Uh, another Reflet de Soir. Where's that come out there? I don't know. Um, oh, I love this. This is so cool. This is a uh, Woolwork sampler. And um, it's one of those really cool, hodgepodgey sort of ones where you've got all different stitches and just bits it's like a Berlin wool work sampler I think um yes I love that that's very cool and um I won't show you the but the, the there's all the the chart is really good it's all the um oh here I'll show you a couple of photos there's they've got illustrations of each of the sections that you're going to do because they're all different stitches and so they've got a color photo close up and then they've also got like proper good i'm just doing it quickly um good uh illustrations so you know um how many threads of linen to go over and you know for your counted stitches and stuff so that's exciting uh what oh yeah then i <laughs> then i was like hmm what do i need in my life 
a sampler that's like four billion stitches high by four billion stitches wide. So I got Anne Dale, 1827 by Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, this is just so, so stunning. Um, I don't know what, it, I really want to start it, but I know I shouldn't, uh, but it's just beautiful. So that's also very exciting, Anne Dale. Okay. Um, this one, I think I was inspired by um, Laura from Brenda and Laura on to get this one, which I had always admired, but I'd never um, bought it. And it's a Kathy Barrick. Yeah, I think it was when they were doing a Kathy Barrick showcase. Um, Ruth Ellen Haystack. That's really cool. Um, and it is a reproduction. And there's only a few colours in it. And I actually got the colours, the MPI silks from uh, Cool Goblin when I was there at the same time. I haven't put them on um, thread drops or anything, but I can sort of, there's only a few of them, so I can sort of hold them up. Uh, they're coming up a lot more orange than they actually are, but yeah, really nice. So that's another, another winner. Ah, uh, here's another hello from Liz Matthews. I love this, um, and I do. I want to get. I want to do. I want to start this. This is the Red R sampler, which is a reproduction. Um, love that. Um, Needlepoint silk or DMC. They've stitched it on forty count. I probably will as well. But yeah, I just love these ones. I love these ones with the alphabets and then the sort of pictorial bits. I um, just really like them. So, yep, yeah, that's that one. Um, how did I get this out? Ah, so this, I've had the, ch the chart I've had for a while. And I think I showed, I might have showed it on my last video because I was all hepped up about it um, and wanted to start it. But this was the, the Gigi, the um, Mary Griffiths sampler, the Welsh sampler. Um, but what I did do when I was at Paul Goblin the last time, whenever it was, is I actually got... Or, or all or most of the threads, but I mean, what a disaster this is. Um, but I haven't, obviously haven't put them on thread guards or anything, but there's some really, really cool colours. Um, this grape arbor is really cool. That's like the purpley colour. And then there's also this other purple, purpley colour, river rocks, which is quite cool. Stepping stone, wee, stepping stone, um, buckeye scarlet, walnut. Wood rose, that's a nice colour, that wood rose, I like that. Um, kudzu, moss, straw, and then a few DMCs in there as well. Um, yeah, it's just really cool um, colours. So, yeah, so I got the, got the threads for that. So that's on, well on its way to being kitted up. Um, I couldn't, sorry, it's a bit scrunchy. I couldn't decide on the linen. I think they, they used... Uh, the chart recommends beige, weak style works beige, but I'm not sure. It might be a bit dark. I don't know. I'll think about that and I'll come back to it. Um, ah, so this this was part of my kitten stitcher order that turned up, which was very exciting. Uh, so this is Hannah Longstreth, Longstreth, 1805 from, from Queenstown Sampler Designs. I just really like this. I like these little stylized flowers. These are little squirrel. Lots of cool little things on there. Um, love birds, apparently. And a, it's not just a squirrel, according to this. It's a jaunty squirrel. Look how jaunty that squirrel is. Um, yeah, so it's really lovely. Uh, what does it say here? It's a Pennsylvania Quaker type scenario. Um, yeah, it's very, very nice. Uh, what have they used? NPI. Or DMC. I'll probably do MPI. I really like those MPI silks. I like stitching with those. Uh, this was also in my kitten stitcher order. Lila's Studio, a Quaker welcome. I'm liking all the Quaker stuff at the moment. Um, love this pineapple in the middle there. This is a really cute, really cute chart. Sorry for that glare there. Really cute chart, this one. A Quaker welcome. 
um, and that's using a combination of DMC, Gentle Arts and Weeks. There's not that many colours in it, so that's really cool. That one. Um, this is was also from Kitten Stitcher. This is uh, Fox and Rabbit Designs, who are actually Australian. Um, Charlotte Mills, 1844. I love this. Again, it's that whole, you know, pictorial, stylized, very Victorian type thing. And that border's pretty amazing too. Um, and they've charted that for DMC. So, um, love that. Fox and Rabbit, Charlotte Mills, 1844. Love, love, love that. Um, right, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah, this was more stuff from Kitten Stitcher. Uh, oh, this was, this is the Primitive Hair uh, Witchy Moon. I don't know why I didn't ha I didn't really have this. It's really cool. So you get this one, the little one there, and the little one there. So I really like the little one that says New Moon. I'd like to do that as a little little pin cushion. And then I like the, the sampler as well, which is, um, what's it say? Horns to the east, soon to be increased. Horns to the west soon to be rest so it's, a, it's like about the moon it's really cool that one um this was another one from kitten stitcher i love this red samplers anna omen 1870 omen it sounds scary anna oman who knows 1873 from lila's studio you know that's another beautiful red sampler i really love that um like to get cracking on that actually that's a, that's not too big 158 by 156 they used classic color works used brick i might do something a bit more red um if you see on the back that's the the original type of vibrant red so anyway nice um oh yeah. And then uh, another primitive hair. This, I love this. This was a Nashville release, I think. Little Black Beauties. And it's just these four little little um, designs that you could turn into little pin cushions or whatever. Um, just little black designs. I really like them. And I've got some cool, like, black velvet, um, you know, backing fabric or whatever. So I thought I might just make those and put them in a little basket. Uh, just use this Carriage Black from Gentle Arts and Aged Pewter from Gentle Arts. So they wouldn't take long to just whip up. Says, says me who like <laughs> takes forever to do anything. But yeah, really cute. I like those. Little Black Beauties. And continuing the black theme. Um, this one. Black Water Blooms by Needle Made Designs. Love this. Um, all just a, just a stylized vase um just any black you could use any black uh and they stitched it on havana 46 count havana a darker sort of fabric i think i've got some 46 count actually i might even have havana i've got mocha i think which might also work but yeah love that that wouldn't take long either black water blooms uh so that was that was all the kitten stitcher stuff. Now this, um, oh, this was a cool Goblin one. Um, I don't know why I didn't already have this, but a few people have been either working on it or have finished it recently, and it's just, I love it, and I thought I'd better get it in case it goes out of print or something. Mary Barr's Sampler, 1829 from Stacey Nash. I think this was the one that Carol Saltbox Stitcher said, you better love Schneckley. <laughs> it's got seven skeins of Schneckley in it. So I might wait a little while before I start my schnickly lobbing. Um, but yeah, love that. Um, also got this little one, the little Americana one, because as I said before, I like Americana stuff. Little souvenirs of the heart. And I like doing those over one things on 28 count. Lagana too, it's kind of nice. So I got that one. I got the latest Prairie School of Santa. So cute. Look at these little rabbits getting blown away. Love that. Um, now, oh, I also got this one because I thought it was cute. From Artful Offerings, Cluck Cluck Farm. I just thought those chickens were really cool. Um, yeah, just thought they were really groovy. Chickens. 
Um, right, now the next segment, this is the sub-segment of haul, and it's called Jeans Gems. Okay, and, what, and not to be confused with Hands Across the Sea Little Gems. Uh, this is Jeans Gems, and when I say Jean, I mean uh, Miss Linen, at Miss Linen on Instagram. Um, so when we were at the Cool Goblin last weekend for stitching, we got there a little bit early because um, myself and Jean went to the framing shop beforehand to put in some uh, samples to be framed, so that's exciting too. Um, anyway, so we got to the shop a little bit early, and so we, we were just sort of um, eating eating our lunch and, and having a look through the charts, and, and um, Jean just kept pulling out all these charts they're, they're not new charts or i don't think any of them are particularly new but they're just things that i'm like oh hadn't seen that before forgot about that one you know it's really nice so we decided i called them jeans gems because i said what other little gems are you gonna find for me in there so these are jeans gems charts <laughs> so the first one is um this brenda gervais spring in baltimore and this is another one of those lovely over one on 28 count but look at that i love this i mean it's been out for a while well 2018 but you know why have i not really noticed this before it's so cute and that's the frame they framed it in is lovely too but anyway so yeah so that's the first jeans gem spring in baltimore by brenda gervais uh then this is a real gem i think about five of us ended up going home with this chart after jean found it um scattered seed samplers Excuse me, um, Anna Morgan, 1845. How cute is this? So cute. I love this. I actually want to start it right now as soon as I finish this video. It's just DMC, one, two, three, four, five, like eight or nine colors of DMC. It's only little. It's just so cute. Love it. Jeans gems. See? Um, this is another gem. And this is another one where I'm like, why have I not already bought this chart? Uh, Esther Edison, 1832 by Chessie and me. Love that. Just love so many things about this. I especially love this little bit. It's really hard to see on here, but the little over one words that just say, poor blind man. I'm like, sure. Let's, I love it. Poor blind man. Yep. Tick. Um, yeah, so that's just fabulous. And I think, again, a few people have finished this or have worked on this and it's just lovely. So there's Esther Edison, Chessie and me. Um, this was a real gem. I think this might be new, might be newish actually. I'm not 100 percent but this is another a Gigi. Uh, Anne Dowding, 1831. Oops, this look at that. I mean that's the the original, obviously, but look at this wacko border. I quite like that. Um, and the colours are really there's not many colours in it, and I did collect what colours they did have at at Cool Goblin, they were, um, there's only a couple more missing cucumber and something else, but that's some of the colours. But yeah, look at that, love that. Gem. Um, and then this one, another gem from Gigi R. And Wallet, 1822. Super cute. Look at that. Love that too. It's gems everywhere. So that's the jeans gems segment of the haul. So <laughs> lots of charts that I want to start in that pile, but I need to get cracking on some other things before I'm allowed to do that. Um, okay, there's my list done haul. Next up, immediate radar. Okay, so I've got a few things that I've that I've had kitted recently um, that are on my immediate radar to start as soon as I finish one of these whips that's nearly finished. I'm allowed to start um, an, another project. Uh, these are just rules that I impose on myself, by the way. Like I'm allowed to do this. So, you know. uh, so uh, first immediate radar is a Stacey Nash design, Hannah Jenkinson Sampler, 1778. Now, this was a Nashville release this year. Um, the cover photo is the original. Um, and the chart recommend it's, it's charted for DMC, and it's recommended to be stitched on AL by Picture This Plus. They did 28 count, but I'm not doing 28 count. I'm going to do it on 40 count 
tail, which I do have a piece of. Um, now, when I got the colours, the DMC threads out, oh, look, I've done it, I've put it on the thing. Um, I've actually changed a few of them, and I'm going to see how it goes. So, because if you can see here on here, so this really sort of bright corally red and this really nice tealy bluey green, um, when I pulled the colours, they weren't like that at all. Like the, the coral was like that sort of dark pink and the teal was kind of a bit flat, you know, and there was another one that was a bit meh when I pulled it out and it just kind of looked a bit meh. Um, and I kind of, the, what drew me to this in the first place was these like pops of like really bright colour. So I actually changed a few of them and I'm going to see how it looks. If it looks terrible, then I'll, you know, try and fix it, or, you know, whatever. But um, so, for example, for that teal, I think they had 501, but I've actually substituted it with 3848. So it's a lot brighter. And again, that coral, I've gone a bit, I've probably gone a bit mad, but I've substituted whatever it was, 221 with this. And it's not actually as bright as, as it's coming across there, but DMC 3705. So just to give it, I mean, the, the rest of the colours aren't as nuts, but when you put them all together, I think it just gives it a little bit more, you know, pop. Otherwise, it's just a bit, it was just a bit drab, I thought. I mean, that's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with samplers that are, like, muted and stuff, but I just wanted those nice pops of, of colour, so... So I'm going to see how it goes. Um, I'll keep you updated on that, on my little piece of ale. Um, so that's on immediate radar. Um, it's got an immediate radar. Use this one. Um, so this, uh, the chart's also new as well, so it's technically hall, I suppose. But this is a little gem from Hands Across the Sea. Um, and I just love this because it's so mad. The, I mean, the colours are just a wacko. Um, it's Jane Hearth, 1868. Through the eyes of a child. I mean, it could be through the eyes of a child who's not on drugs. But anyway, um, but it's great. It's really cool. It's a, it's a really cute little sampler. There's heaps of, and so the colours, so I'm doing it on 40 count. What's this cookie crumb from Kitten Stitcher? But look at these colours. Talk about wacko. Are oh, they all just DMCs? I say just, but they're all DMCs. Oh, God, help me. Um, <laughs> they're all DMCs, but yeah, there's some real woody. It's going to be quite mad, but I love it. So keep you posted on that as well. I didn't change those colours. Those are the charted colours. So. Uh, that's another immediate radar. Um, oh, this is this is immediate radar, but it's also a whip because I forgot that I'd started it. I, I started this during Mania and then just forgot that I'd even started it. Um, so, where's the pattern gone? Oh, sorry. Just get it out of the thing. Uh, so, berry bowl sampler. Heartstring Samplery collaboration with Scarlet House. Um, yeah, I started it. I, I mean, I haven't done much, but I have more than six stitches, FYI. Um, and I've done one little basket in the corner and started this other one. So I haven't done a huge amount. I'm just doing it on one piece. Of, of linen it's some um, sand 36 count sand by picture this plus because i had something in my stash um and here's the colors i think that there are a couple of colors missing just oh lichen and red rocks are missing at the moment but the rest of the colors are there um yeah really nice um so that's on my immediate radar to um continue because i really like doing those little Bowls. It's like a little, um, a little celebration each time you finish one. They're like, because they're so, you know, just, wee. Anyway, so that's immediate radar slash, um, mist, uh, not mystery, but immediate radar slash forgotten whip. 
Um, and then the other one. I really want to start this. Like there is very little holding me back from starting this. Consider the lilies, heartstring sampler. I've got the linen. I've got the um, the seraphim forty count dusty road linen, giant piece. I've now got all the threads. Why do I drop this every time I drop it? If I didn't have like four million other really big samplers on the go, I'd start it. I kind of want to start it anyway. Oh, I'm, the other one was, um, sorry, I'm just going off camera for one second. I can't remember, did I put this on my other video? My last video? I don't know if I did. If I did, sorry, you're seeing it again. If I didn't, I think I, I definitely put it on Instagram, but, um, Mary 395, Bristol, cow, rooster, stuff, red, alphabets. Uh, I've got a lovely piece of silk weaver, 40 count French vanilla swirl that I've had in my stash and it's a big enough black because you need a, you need a big piece. And I've got the, I'm using this Alvera Soir. Again, that's a lot, that's not as pink as that. The light in here is not great today. Um, that's much redder than that is suggesting. It's, uh, Auvera Soir number 945, 945. Um, again, I really want to start that. That's another immediate radar, ginormous sample. But it's all one colour, so. Not as bad, maybe. Maybe not as bad. Okay. Um, immediate radar done. Uh, the only other thing I was going to mention was framing, but um, I think I did say that in earlier on. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I've put three samplers in to be framed. Um, a rose wreath sampler by Gigi um, and two Reflet de Soir ones, which I can't quite remember. But um, when they come back from the framers, apparently they're going to be ready in a couple of weeks. Uh, I will show them. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't had anything framed for a really long time. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get some framed things happening. Uh, so I'll show those on my next video as well. Um, what's, uh, on the next video, I will get back to the um, stash dive madness. Um, but I thought I'd just better better do a video now because there's a lot of I had a lot of stuff to show. Um, well, not that much finished stuff, but I had a lot of haul and stuff to show. So and um, it had been a while. So. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank you again to everyone who uh, commented on my last video. Uh, I love reading the comments. Please comment um, with anything uh, that you'd like to say um, about anything really. <laughs> and I will see you again 